it was typical for girls to undergo a fair bit of confusion when they hit puberty and that that would take the form of negative emotion. No one told her that. They just rushed her down the puberty blocking and surgical pathway. That's inexcusable. It's evil. Yeah, it is. It's the worst thing. It's the worst thing I've seen professionals do, not only in my lifetime. I've studied atrocity for 40 years. I've never seen anything worse than what's happening right now. Hey everyone, my name is Lord Darkens. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be discussing this clip from Jordan Peterson, Dr. Jordan Peterson with Joe Rogan. He's on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. And he's bringing up something that has always been a tough conversation to have with individuals in America today. And that is the whole gender affirming care, which is a nice name for what? It's really a nice name that is programming children to change their gender. That's really what it is. And it also involves the medical side to it. And so I actually want to react to this. I want to provide some mindset stuff on this. And without further ado, you guys already know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. Let's play that video. I've studied atrocity for 40 years. I've never seen anything worse than what's happening right now. And that includes the sorts of things that were done in the camps in, in Germany. At least the goddamn Nazis admitted what they did was wrong. They tried to hide it. We trumpeted it as a moral virtue. We're freeing the children. It's like, no, I don't think so. Mothers, I think. Yeah, I mean, listen, I don't believe any uh, child out there should be exposed to the idea that they should be interested in changing their gender. I think everyone who's a millennial or older can definitely understand that when we were children, we did have questions there was a certain level of confusion. And it usually would subside and clarity would take its place. But what has, what, what has happened, and that's usually in a natural way, but what has happened is that the government, the school system, social media, the internet, has programmed parents and these, and these kids to think, oh, well, maybe I'm not a girl, maybe I'm a boy. Or maybe I'm not a boy, I'm a girl. And not just from a psychological standpoint, but also physically, meaning, oh, I can also take pills. I can I can get this, you know, procedure done, you know, to modify my body. In other words, I can mutilate my body, right? Uh, that's where we're at today. I, I say this all the time. I tell my wife this all the time. Why do... If you're listening to this, I assume you obviously speak English. Do you speak English because you decided to speak English? Or do you speak English because you were exposed to the English language? Right? Does that make sense? Did you make up the idea that English is what you're just going to start talking or speaking? No, you were exposed to it. The only reason why these children are confused is because they're exposed to confusion. They're exposed to these negative ideas. Now, I'm 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 not crazy. Like if someone turns 18 and they want to do whatever they want to do to their body, hey, to each its own. But I do not believe we should be affecting the natural development of children, especially putting pharmaceuticals in their body to change their body on a chemical level. I, I just don't think that makes any sense whatsoever. What you're doing is sacrificing your child to the parading of your moral virtue. Oh, my son, he's so confused. He thinks I's a girl, but I still love him. That's how wonderful I am. Mm. Jesus Christ, Joel. You have no idea how dark that is. It's dark. It's unbelievably and then it's dark. it's attached to an industry now. Yeah, that's for sure. Which is very sure. scary. There was an a, industry and an ideology. There was an article that was recently released where this person admitted that they said it was... Uh, the, what was the exact phrase that the way they described uh, gender transition as life-saving medical yeah. care yeah. in order to get insurance for it? Life-saving medical care. Wow. That's crazy. In fact, they're more at risk by doing this procedure versus not doing it. Like, listen, if you're out there and you're gay but no one put that into your head, then that's fine. I, I really don't care. What I care about is we are 
We, we are taking the lead on exposing kids to these ideas, and we shouldn't be doing that. And in most cases, these kids are being exposed to these ideas without the parents being able to filter it or check it. And then parents are also misled from the science community or the medical community, I mean, on why it does make sense to do this. You guys saw the Elon Musk interview where he said he was misled. He was told that if his son did not get puberty blockers, his son would commit suicide. Now, you may say, well, Devore, if the doctors say that, the doctors say that. Uh, the doctors also said that if we were to wear a mask and, you know, that would prevent us from getting COVID. Obviously, that's not true. There's zero studies to show that. They have zero studies to show that if your child is confused and if you don't give them puberty blockers, they will commit suicide. That's craziness. But the pharmaceutical industry, the medical industry, banks on the fact that you are not going to think for yourself or do any type of research. Let's keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because otherwise insurance won't pay for it. So yeah. they were willing to describe it in that way to mm -hmm. ensure that people would profit off of it, yeah. which is wild. Yeah, it's just absolutely corrupt. These insurance companies have obviously colluded with the medical industry to change the language, to change what certain words mean, to change why this type of procedure medically makes sense, even though there's no studies, even though the American people have no say in it. It's fascinating. It's, it's actually, it's sick. It's terrifying. And it's so strange because I never would have believed that this could happen. If well, you had I'm, asked I'm, me 20 years yeah. ago if this was going to be a main concern, yeah. that people were worried about their children being roped into this ideology and convinced that they're And then sterilized self. and mutilated. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yes. I know. I know. Terrifying. Well, it's no wonder people... See, even Michael Schellenberger, who broke the WPATH files, when we talked about the role the WPATH played in establishing their own ideology addled butchery as the standard of care for the American Medical Association, the American Psychiatric Association, the American Psychological Association. Schellenberger said that after he had listened to Abigail Schreier and I talk about this trans mutilation, he was so appalled that he literally couldn't believe it. He just shelved it. He said this. Yeah, what, what he's speaking to is what I was just talking about with the collusion, right? Uh, most people don't have time to think about stuff like this, but I do believe it's worthy of listening to at least once or twice to truly see the big picture of what's going on, especially if you have a child that seems to be confused. See, you have the what he was just saying. You have the medical community, right? You have the uh, people who deal with the mental health, right? You have the pharmaceutical. They all collude together to make sure there's a seamless standard around gender affirming care even though this standard is not really based in reality or based on any serious studies dating back to 50 or 100 years ago this is this is all stuff that's on the fly right and so the the bigger picture is just because they say well we are the uh american um you know just because they say they are this big department or big company, no okay, cancel that. The bottom line is just because someone at the local school says, "Hey, you know what? I think it might be a good idea to have James uh, get medication so they can turn into Jamie." That doesn't mean it's true. That doesn't mean it's true, and, it, and I find it fascinating that parents who grew up not dealing with this. Is tolerating it. I do believe it is a woke mind virus. It is a virus in the mind of Americans because we are the country that is dealing with this the most, and we had not been dealing with this for many, many, many decades, if at all. But now it seems to be one of the biggest issues, and that is a failure of our education system, a failure of the nuclear family, parents. And it's a side effect of the inter internet and absolute corruption with these medical professions, the insurance companies, they're all in on it. No way this can be true. And I, I can understand that because 
the more you look into it, the worse it gets. Right. It's unbelievably bad. These surgical procedures are so brutal and so experimental that they're, they're I'm going to say it again, they're worse than what the Mengali types did in the concentration camps in the 30s and 40s. And that's a pretty goddamn low bar. Yeah, so you guys seen that. Listen, I know this topic alone will make someone very angry. I get kind of angry listening to this, you know. Uh, I, I just don't believe we should be touching God's children. I do not believe we should be meddling in the natural development of children. I think it's totally fine and normal for a kid to be confused. They're supposed to be. They've never lived on this planet. They've never been the age they are now. <laughs> Of course, they're going to be confused. That doesn't mean we need to feed into the confusion, right, and magnify it and throw in ideas that have no basis of reality and really is not conducive to the overall development of the child. It's sickening. So, you know, that's my mindset on this. I, I really do believe that um, what has taken place is parents have become programmed to become slave to this idea that every little problem their child is having, they have to pander to it and they have to, you know, um, coddle the, their, their child and feed into every insecurity and confusion that this child has. I believe parents have been programmed that way because society in America is starting to do that more than it ever has. I mean, today, People are so sensitive. You can't say certain things without people melting down. If people were to go back 50, 60 years ago, just imagine the things we used to say back then. <laughs> I mean, we don't say anything near that today, but people get so offended. So it's just part of the overall culture of in, in America. That's why it's very important for you and your mental health to create the, the, the boundaries to stick to your values and principles, to follow the intuition, you know what is right. You know it's not right doing this to children. We know this. We know this. But what hap well, what's happening is we, we have become weak in our protection of children. This is why California is so lax when it comes to pedophiles. I mean, think about it. You got people who have been convicted, who were never at January 6th when the riots took place. They have been convicted and sent to prison for 20 years. But on the other side, you have pedophiles every day that are arrested, and they might spend five years in prison. Might. You don't have to go very far to see this for yourself. Clearly, the justice system is very political, and it has been infected by politics, no question. And my hope is that there will be more people who think the way that I do, the way that uh, Dr. Jordan Peterson does and Joe Rogan, and start standing up and not accepting these crazy radical ideas that are killing our children. These are God's children. They don't have any life experience. Once they become adults, they could do whatever the hell they want to do. But until then, we should just leave them alone and let God do what he does. That's my mindset. What's yours? What do you guys think about this interview with uh, Dr. Jordan Peterson and Joe Rogan and this whole crazy gender affirming care topic? Very, very sad. Very, very sickening. I want to hear everything and more in the comment section below. Thank you for checking out the video today. I'll see you in the next one.